how do you take in such a huge thing like the Royal Festival Hall organ at the first glance? Well, it takes a long time to get to know the particularities of every instrument. One of the first things that all organists have to do is change their shoes. One of the main differences between uh, the organ and any other keyboard instrument is that there's a keyboard for the feet. So you have just two and a half octaves here to play with your feet. So these organ shoes that I'm wearing are quite narrow so that you can avoid playing more than one note at a time. You need to learn the distances between the notes. So that's an octave and you have to have an in instinctive idea of the distance between the notes and that's a fifth. The main challenge when you're starting out to play the organ is combining the hands and the, and the feet as well. There's a piece by Bach which I've miraculously got on the organ where you can hear this dialogue between the feet and the manuals uh, and the hands. So I'll just go from here. Most organs are uh, made up of the same kind of uh, key ingredients. Each keyboard is its own division. And here at the Royal Festival Hall organ, this is, um, you can hear this very clearly when you're uh, listening to the instrument. So the top keyboard here, the, the pipes here, are right over on the far right side here. And then conversely, the keyboard below it here, the swell division, is all the way over there. So when you're right up, playing the organ, you get this amazing uh, stereo effect. And then the pedal here is right in the middle. All of the pipes for the stops on the third keyboard are enclosed in a box with shutters on the front and with pedal in this position, the, the shutters are closed. So you have dynamic control over those bits in the organ. And so the, the left-hand pedal here is for the stops over here, and then the far right pedal is for the stops right at the top here, on the top manual here. So you can achieve some really cool effects. There are different families of stops on the organ. They kind of represent different sounds, different sounds in the orchestra, if you like. There's the principal choruses that are kind of the traditional organ sounds. And then there are the flute stops where you can play. I mean, American minimalism works really well on this organ. Are some really beautiful soft stops right here over the on this side on the choir division. And then also here the, there's the string family which is really beautiful as well here. You can have any stop in any combination as well, which is really, really, really cool. Being an organist is a little bit like being a painter. You can choose your colours like in a painter's palette. And the colours that you can get out of this organ are absolutely incredible. 